ultimately, as a new nurse, I want to encourage the students that are still in school and are afraid of this culture that they are going to get into. The culture of nurses eating their young. Look, you are capable. Nursing school on itself is a tough program. If you can go through nursing school, then you can do anything in any department in any hospital. Don't let anyone tell you less. And if you go to a hospital and a nurse begins to bear down on you and start pushing you down, trying to extinguish your light, your shine, you need to stand up for yourself. You need to document. Document from day one how you're being treated, by who, your response. Document and let somebody know. Because if you cannot take it anymore, instead of you going to that breaking point and feeling like maybe you chose the right profession, you need to take it to leadership with your documentation because at that point, your case will be strong. Don't allow any miserable person steal your joy and destroy your career for something you've worked so hard for because when you were going through that program, they were not there with you. Nurses eating their young. They say that bullying is always someone who is purposefully picking on the pain. The senior nurse picking on you. It could just be because they're jealous. You come in, you have your head over the shoulder, you're dressed properly, you're clean, your bedside manner is 100% top notch. And because they've been doing that for so long, they have lost their bedside manners. They just want to push meds and get out. And now you come around, you want to be able to connect with your patient. And because maybe the patients are connecting with you as well, they get jealous and they start bearing down on you and start eating you alive and destroying your passion. By the time you're finished with orientation, you are just as bad as your preceptor. And you can't wait for the new nurse coming in so you can retaliate and eat your own young. Come on. No. Look, this is this is something I want to let you know. If you are naturally a kind person, do not allow any culture to change that. If you are naturally someone with a passion, with compassion to take care of your patients, don't allow any culture to steal that from you. I remember when I started, the nurse told me that, hey, G, I give you five years. You see, all this, your nice kindness and softness and, and compassion and everything, always trying to look out for a patient, advocating and stuff. I give you five years, G, and you will be just like me. That's what a nurse told me, senior nurse, who've been doing, who've been a nurse for 15 years. And my response? <laughs> I said, look, the day I become like you, that will be the day I will stop being a nurse. Because if I am miserable in the profession, then it's not for me anymore. But every day I go to work, I pray out. I pray for my patients and I pray for those mean, miserable nurses that eat their young. And I strive, I try my very best to be supportive to someone that might need help. A mentor is someone who allows you to see something good inside of you. See hope. You see, a good mentor will tell you, let's do it together. Follow my lead. How powerful is that if someone who is training you stands right next to you and says, let's get this NG tube together. Let's get this Foley in together. Let us get this Ivy together. Let us access this port together. Let us do this assessment together. Instead of standing at the door 
and asking you to do stuff while they're looking and the only thing they're looking for is the wrong, the bad thing you've done. They point out the negatives and when you do the positives, they don't see it. So one of the greatest things that mentors do, one of the greatest things that preceptors do would be to see opportunities ahead that others do not see and pull their training into that opportunity and help them navigate the opportunity to greatness. A good mentor is one that wants to see you survive and do better than the preceptor. When I train a nurse in the ER, my goal is to train them to a level where even if I'm not working, and a patient comes through, my mother comes through the ER, I should have peace in of mind, knowing that my trainee is capable of taking care of that person. You see, a new nurse, a trainee is a true reflection of a preceptor. I don't know if those nurses that if they are young really think about this. A good nurse is a true reflection of their preceptor. So, don't you ever think that because you're a new nurse, you're gonna be torn apart. Yes, you're gonna meet people that are gonna be there waiting for you to show up so they can tear you apart. But remember that you are the one in control of yourself. You are the one that is in control of your reaction to anything that comes your way. You are the one in control of your environment regardless of where you find yourself. Don't allow a preceptor detect to you. Now, mind you, if they're training you and they're teaching you the right thing, be humble enough to learn. Be humble enough to ask questions. Be humble enough. Now, the problem is when you ask questions to these nurses that eat their yard, they say you're stupid. You ask too many questions. You ask dumb questions. Hey, remember, what did they tell you in, in nursing school? No question is dumb. No question is stupid. It's better you ask and get an answer than to be afraid to ask and don't get an answer and screw up. So if you feel like your preceptor or a senior nurse or a charge nurse is bearing down hard on you and makes your job impossible, speak out. Document every instant. Submit it to leadership and speak out. Say something. Say something. And when you go to your new job, always find someone that you know that they have their head over their shoulders, that they are squared away, and that they know what they're doing, and lean on them for mentorship. Get a mentor in every job that you find yourself. Because these mentors will help you navigate the obstacles you face. Why do nurses eat their young? Let me hear your comments below and I would love to continue this topic if you have a story to share hit me up soldier nurse peace out love you